8:16. Now, when it comes to getting your kids medically ready for school, there are some new things schools and parents want to have completed before day one. And we're talking about things like getting them immunized and also book bags and more. Seven News is Christine Scarpelli is at Bon Secours St. Francis with more. Yep, we've been talking about all kinds of things this morning. Started with backpacks, making sure they're not too heavy, and then moved on to snacks, which was really fun, and healthy foods for kids as they return to school. Well, now we're talking about maybe the age-old controversy, washing your hands versus hand sanitizer. Just another way to keep kids clean as they return to class here. We've got Courtney from Bonds Corps St. Francis telling us a little bit about the difference between the two and why they're both important. All right, first off, what do we need to know about sanitizer and washing? So what you're referring to? is whether superiority for um, washing your hands with soap and water, the true gold standard, or alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Okay. Now, there's three different reasons why you should use um, soap and water, and those are after using the restroom, before you eat, or if your hands are visibly soiled. Okay. You should use soap and water. Gotcha. And also, at any given time, there's about 50,000-plus bacteria on your hands, and about. spores can be on your hands, and those are like give you really bad um, bacteria, such as C. difficile. So those spores, you actually have to wash down the drain, so you need to use soap and water. That's why soap and water is going to do a little bit better job when you're talking about eating some something or after the restroom. Very good. All right, now how do we go about doing that, Courtney? I'm going to have you go ahead and All demonstrate right. for me. Here's some tips and tricks about hand washing. So you're going to turn on the water. You're going to get some soap. Make sure you lather up really nice. Try to get all sides of your hands, the backs of your hands, in between your fingertips. Um, easy to forget certain places. Right? It is, and most right-handed people actually miss their right thumb, so make sure you get your right thumb as well. All right, so then you're going to turn off the faucet. With the paper towels, it looked With like. The paper towels. So don't touch that. Don't touch it. Okay. You'll just get your hands more dirty. Unbelievable. Very good. All right. Anything else we need to know? We've got the sanitizer there that can work, but again, this is superior when it comes to being clean. Courtney, awesome. Thank you. We'll have Thank more you. guys after this. Back to you.